Hello guys, it's Ina and today is 18th of April and I would like to show you the forests that uh, are in my area where I live and I just want to tell you that most of the forests in this little area they belong to paper factories so basically they are human grown forests so they cut some parts and after they plant new trees and that's why we don't have a huge diversity of species and it also reflects on the uh, different the diversity of mushrooms that you can find the soil is sandy you can see there is quite a lot of sand and uh, we have moss we have a bit of a grass most of the trees the majority they are pine trees sometimes we have fir trees and uh, as i told you that uh, these forests they belong to paper factories so you can see recently they've been harvesting <laughs> some somewhat some wood some logs and uh, yeah that's why we don't have like really big variety of species here but uh, nevertheless i will walk around and i'll try to find something i don't think actually right here would find uh, anything because it looks like fresh signs of uh, cutting the trees and uh, probably even if here were some mushrooms they would have been <laughs> destroyed by all of the trucks like uh, and them I mean, in vans you can see the big big trays oh here we have this moss that actually i haven't seen in other parts of the forest and other places so it's called yagil it's really nice and beautiful so it grows very very slow so you shouldn't take like too much just for fun so be careful with it <laughs> so just take as little as you need so i found uh, a stump of a pine tree and uh, there is this raisin that is still liquid kind of sticky so it's uh, quite fresh so let's uh, count uh, <laughs> how old is the tree so when i was at school we were taught that every circle means a year so let's try maybe we'll start from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one so let's say maybe around <laughs> from twenty two to 25 years old so tell me if it's correct or not <laughs> maybe there is some other ways of uh, identifying how old the tree is and of course <laughs> there is some poop can you guess the animal it is a moose why do i say so because deer they have a basically the same oval shape but a little bit smaller these are quite big and also here is the hoof the step of a hoof so pretty big and also like here also quite big so here is my hand for comparison so they are big so i'm considering to go back uh, maybe to move to another forest because if you can see behind me everything has been disturbed and there is literally and definitely there is no way to find anything so i was hoping okay if not mushrooms maybe i can find some skulls or something but probably they were crushed <laughs> under this huge actually can you hear that uh, they're cutting trees also here somewhere so i was like okay it's impossible they're probably crushed another thing i thought okay maybe there will be some feathers from the birds and after i was thinking uh I've been like out in the forest for the whole year, like all year round, and I have never ever found any single feather. Okay, maybe like one tiny ugly somewhere uh, in a spider web, but not, non, not even the one that was worth taking with me, with you. So, yeah, getting out of this place and I go to move to a new location. That's why you have to be uh, cautious every year, like I found a place last year with mushrooms and this year I'm like, okay, I will go here and I will pick up even more because I know the season, I know the place 
and time and no way because <laughs> the forestry company i mean the paper company will come and uh, cut the trees and will destroy your mushroom spot and you'll have to find a new one so that's why we have to be cautious and we have to scout all year round for the new places. Last year it was very clean, nice forest and I was like, okay, I will definitely have to come here. Too late, too late. Of course, like there are places where they don't cut the forest, maybe like nature reserves, uh, national parks, but I cannot reach those places uh, on my own like with a bicycle or with a moped uh, because it's either too far either i don't feel like that i want to uh, let's say ride my moped on a one lane uh, one lane road with many cars so yeah in my reach i can get only to the forest that belong to the factory so i have to move from location to spot from spot to spot to figure out what is the best place this year? Okay, I went to another forest. Look what I found. So here is some fur. The question is, is it a dog fur or is it a hair? I kind of think it is a hair. Look. <laughs> Looks pretty, pretty dense for being a dog. So I'm kind of curious, like, uh, what happened is it like just changing the fur or was this animal eaten so i'm going to look around maybe look for some poop or some other remains of the rabbit or hair let's see so I walked for a couple of meters ahead and i found some hair poop here and over there so it's probably like the hair was just changing the fur and uh, just got stuck <laughs> Or maybe it was uh, was what scratching his ass so we'll see but uh, i'm pretty sure the hair is alive so we got to my amanita muscaria forest and uh, the landscape is the same as in autumn or summer so we have some pine trees we have fir trees we have uh, moss we have uh, blueberry and uh, lingonberry so nothing else, <laughs> nothing special. So we'll see. So the first mushroom find for today. Da -da -da. Looks pretty clean from inside, like uh, pretty sure there is some a worm sitting there, but look, white tubed cap, pretty thin leg, brown cap, been bitten by someone, maybe by <laughs> Some insects, maybe by a bird, so who knows? Grows on a fallen log. Maybe it's uh, the pine tree. So yeah, the first mushroom of today. Okay, so this forest has also been um, civilized by people, by local administration. So look, there are some trees everywhere, fallen trees. It's very difficult to walk. I don't even know where to walk, where to step. And uh, there are no mushrooms at all. There are no skulls, like nothing. So the only thing that I can collect is actually dry lychee. Li not lychee. Leech. Leeches. Okay, I will write it in the description because I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I forgot. So again, as you can see, we have only pine trees, occasional fir trees, we have a bit of a grass, and we have a lot of blueberry, lingonberry, and hairs. So one, two, three, four poop piles. So it was like maybe their meeting point. <laughs> I got out of the forest. Here's the road. You can see I still have snow because it's still quite cold. It is uh, about plus 8 degrees Celsius at daytime. Maybe now it's 10. It's quite warm. Uh, but at night we still have negative temperatures like minus 1, minus 2. 
so still have to be <laughs> quite careful it's still quite cold here i think for today that's it so i did not find any mushrooms except for one that i showed you on a little log and uh, there were no skeletons or bones i found like one but it looks like it could be maybe um, a spine bone and it's only one and it looks it was kind of big like this so it was maybe like it even belongs to a, co uh, to a cow and maybe an animal stole it and brought it here so i just picked some oh, again i don't re remember how to pronounce it please teach me lichis 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 so not lichi i know for sure but basically this Mm, it's not a plant and it's not uh, a mushroom it's something in between so i picked up some of these and uh, they will go for my <laughs> etsy boxes that i'm planning to sell in autumn uh, with everything i found through the season so thanks again for watching thanks for following commenting supporting the channel i really appreciate it and see you next time